still, uh, I think our neuroscience, while it's as, as good as it's ever been, obviously, we've made remarkable strides in being able to capture what's going on in the brain at a particular moment or associate with a particular experience or task that a person's doing. Uh, we still are not, we still have so much to go in terms of really understanding what is the true link between what is subjectively felt in the person and what is understood and seen objectively in, on a scan. And, and to me, this is actually a very important field of research where we'll be headed, which is how do we link those up as best as we can. And I think it becomes very important for us to really know how to measure things well subjectively. I think we, we really have a long way to go even just in that regard. I mean, people are always struggle to explain and describe psychedelic experiences, spiritual states. Uh, one of the critical statements about them is that they are, by their nature, indescribable. So, and yet then everybody still tries to find a way of describing them. So I think that um, we have to work hard at trying to understand that to see where the similarities are, see where the differences are. Um, if somebody says, I've had a spiritual experience, does, does everybody who says, I've had a spiritual experience have the same kind of experience or are, you know, are there elements that are the same or are they very varied across cultures, traditions, people, and so forth? And, and I think that that's something that we still don't really know yet.